Yes, it is the Ron and Fez show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the radio war has started. This has been a long time coming. And finally, uh, today, they just went too far. O&A bragging about this new new Johnny come lately. Nothing happened in Ham and Egger hanging out at their show. The great Cream Pie Jones. Well, he... Who? A cream Pie Jones. He gets a little carried away today. Starts uh, bad mouthing our boy, Eastside Dave. And like the Beach Boys uh, said, uh, Fezzy, Dave had to, to shut him up and then shut him down. David, come on in here. First of all, uh, way to represent. Very, very proud of you today. Thank you, Mr. B. Yeah. Who is this kid? Who is this guy? Yeah, uh, who's Cream Pie Joe? If I describe him in one word, yeah. it would be chump. <laughs> That's... Hold on. Let people get the laughter out of the way. Okay. This chump, because you're the what? I'm the champ. He's You're ah. the champ, and he's the chump. Yeah. What's happening with Cream Pie? Cream Pie Jones is some fucking new intern yeah. who all who someone declared him the Richie Rich of the ONA staff. I noticed that he's the golden boy all of a sudden. <laughs> what yeah. does Richie Rich mean? Richie Rich golden. means like he's uh, he's too good for everybody else. Fezzy, yeah. he's one of those rich kids. You know what? And this has been a long time coming. ONA have a rude staff. The producers are always Absolutely. rude to you guys and act like they're above you. And today, like Popeye, you had all these kids stands and you can't stand no more. I, I drank some spinach, too. Yeah, and I'm I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm you know what? You. Let me do like the little funny stuff. Oh, and you okay. just, you know, eat snot or whatever it is right. to make us feel proud. Okay. What exactly did this guy do to piss you off? Okay, well, I have to tune into Open Anthony, you know, a great radio show, to hear this loud mouth. You know what? Don't play up to them because they're part of this. That's Let's right. face it. Fuck, they're, them. <laughs> fuck that. That's too far the they're, other way. They're part of this. They're the ones who brought Cream Pie Jones in here. That's true. And uh, handed them the crown. Yeah. Handed them the crown with no challengers. Yeah, what was that all about? So he's running his mouth mm -hmm. about how superior he is, and he takes a mayonnaise hat. Yeah. A mayonnaise hat. What's that even mean? I'm a man who <laughs> fucked jelly. Right. And put a bagel in my rear. And here's what kills me. Oh, and I saw that. They know what you're willing I to do. I did it on their show. They had it happen on their show as a gift. Did you get any money for it? They didn't give me a nickel. No, but uh -oh. this Cream Pie Jones, this Richie Rich, this uh, Johnny come lately uh, ne'er do well. He's getting all kinds of cash thrown his way. I know. Is this uh, Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoons, good or one. is this Cream Pie Jones? Hey, good one on this uh, the Silver Spoons thing. Pop that in every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you. So then he he uh, gets the mayonnaise on his head. I'm supposed to be impressed. Mm -hmm. And what's then, that even mean? Mayonnaise on your head? They call well. They they call it literally a cream pie. Yeah. I've got a little something in store for for uh, them on this yeah. radio program a little later on. Good. That I call a Royale with cheese. That's okay, from Paul, Paul Figs. <laughs> well, if, if we're going to keep right it in... with cheese? I, I apparently... Is this a condiment word? <laughs> I was going to say, oh. apparently we have to <laughs> keep it in the food family. Well, that's not the same thing. I gave you condiment more. <laughs> it could have been set up perfectly. Did you have a condiment in was, your line? Yeah, it was going to be condiment. But anyway... You throw it in. I'm with you. I'm backing you up. All right, so then... Uh, the, he after he does that, you know, be a gentleman, do your stunt, and get off the radio. Yeah, and get on. Uh, go away. Go away. That's the way the champ does it. You right. don't hear the champ sitting around crying, extolling, you know, the virtues of being the stunt master. Right. You know, but this little fucker, Good then, one. then, go on, fucker, <laughs> fucker. Yeah. Then he starts bad mouthing me yeah. very loudly. On the Opie and Anthony program. Making O&A laugh at and yeah. giggle. Laughing and in my face. Like everything's funny now. Right. And, like, you know, it's this, I don't fucking take this shit right. lightly. Like, this is not something that I'm laughing about. No. Okay. You don't play games. I'm not playing around. All right. And this kid says, I'll, I'll, I'll have a piece of shit in my hand. I don't care. What? Yeah, he says, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll have what shit. Are, like, that's my new? I, apparently it is. So I said, with Mars as my witness. With Mars as my witness, I will, <laughs> I will not take this. Why I, are you swearing to the planet Mars? On the phone. Well, he is Roman, Fezzi, yeah. and that is their god of war. Right. And this is, you know, 
uh, on the phone. The, right, uh, we something got, happened. All right, we got this set up here. Now, what time did this happen? Because I guess I was coming into work. This happened between 10.50 and I'll say 11.20. I called up around yeah. 11 o'clock. All right, so 11 o'clock, I was coming into work. Fez, you were blowing a bus boy. So let's <laughs> take a listen. We both missed this. This is Dave representing the Ron and Fez show. Finally, standing up and saying, you know what? Enough of the hype. Here's the way it all goes down. So here's Dave on ONA. <laughs> Oh, oh, God damn it. Fuck! 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 Do something, Somebody creep pie! I'm serious. Get me a fucking ball. <laughs> oh, man, he's gonna shit in a ball. He's gonna ball. shit in a ball. Do you got anything, it like creep ice pie? Ice cream. I eat shit for breakfast and wash it down Get with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back again! A diarrhea milkshake. Oh. A diarrhea oh. shit. Beat that! Oh. I don't see you drinking a diarrhea oh. milkshake. Oh. <laughs> I got something, sir. Hold on. All right. I got a little bit. You got it? You got it? Tony, you see it? Now, that's, that's a fucking who it is, Stafford. That's Tony. He's looking at my shit. He's looking at my shit. Now, do you guys want to see it? Oh, my God. Did he really shit in a bowl? We're fucked. Tony, what do you, you got, Creep? Do you guys see it? I'm putting oh, my no. finger in the shit. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> he, he ate his own shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. First of all, let me just talk about the pride I have in Eastside Dave right now. But here's what I love about that. Did you hear Opie? You could have heard a pin drop. He just shut up and he knew that he had hyped this guy, this rich kid. As being something, and you came back with something I call genius, shitting in the bowl, put your finger in it, and I'm putting it That's in your right. mouth. Yeah. And then you never heard another word out of Opie. No. Uh, it's what I call the double F syndrome. Mm -hmm. Opie was frozen mm -hmm. with fear. Frozen with fear. Frozen with fear. I call that the double F syndrome, and that's exactly what happened to Mr. H today. And, you know, uh, Cream Pie Jones sits around, oh, I'll drink diarrhea. But, you know, and Opie and Anthony are like, yay, we're winning. Why? Because the guy said he was going to do it? Yeah, that means nothing to me. And I was glad that the witnesses of my shitting were Opie and Anthony people. They're phone right. screener. Because they wouldn't have believed. Big Tony and Mars, who, let's face it, sometimes considers himself their engineer. It's 100% their engineer. Yeah. Mars has never done anything for us. No. And that Cream Pie Jones, he's throwing little uh, rose petals as Cream Pie walks into the place. I'm so confused. Our guy ate his own shit and we won? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. We won? Yes. Champion. Huh? Here's right. Nate. I'll take your word for it. Here's how we won. Dave ate his shit and Cream Pie didn't. Yeah. I ate my shit. <laughs> Boom! What's hard I to do. understand about that? You tasted Fez. your own shit. I understand that part. So we're the winners. Yes, I... yes, for eating shit. Don't you get eating it? shit? So we won. Okay. What's hard to understand about that, Fez? All right, that was beautiful, and I'm telling you right now. Uh, to me, here in Opie, go quiet. It reminds me when there was a romp and Tom Landry uh, tried not to say a word, but you could tell on the inside he was suffering. Yeah. On the inside. Oh, at your wedding. Don't shoot off your mouths when you're in the kitchen, as the phrase goes. And you, you shot them off today. I've never heard that and phrase. And you got your asses burned. Right. Because you shit in a bowl and ate it. Exactly. Face. And I will gladly face. royale with cheese him. Face. <laughs> I, face. I have my own face. <laughs> it's very weird for me. All right. So here we are uh, in the middle of a uh, radio war. And I'm going to just say something right now. And this is 100% sh shoot, all right? I want the pest to stay out of this. This has nothing to do with you. You guys form a line on either side of the street like this was Dodge City. And you let Dave and Cream Pie go at this mano a mano. I don't want a bunch of people sending pizzas to Dave's house or calling his mom and telling him that Dave got killed in a car accident. Or calling her a cunt. Or calling her a cunt. I don't want to... I'm glad you added that in. Thank you. I don't want any of that stuff happening. This is between Dave and Jones. Pest, stand back. Stay out of it.
I'm going to be haunting your nightmares, cream pie. Every night, you're going to see the face of the red stallion. Every time, ev- no shit. Yes, in his <laughs> dreams. Every time this kid tries to get in uh, uh, some sleep, he'll be dreaming about Dave just eating his own shit like it's going out of style. Davy Kruger, cream pie. Good one. Try this. Pinhead. Try. Is he pinhead? <laughs> no. no. I get him all confused. Freddy Kruger, well, he- I don't watch any of those movies. Oh, really? No. Oh, in- independent delightful. snob. I'm an independent <laughs> snob. Well, irregardless of that. Regardless. A, regardless. You know what? I, uh, and Dave, if you win this, I'd love to book you on Unmask and really find out wow. who you, who the shit eater really is. Can't we just talk about him on this show while he's here? Do we but, have to do an Unmask special? Let's get him on the show people are listening to. Unmasked. <laughs> I'd love to be on that show. Sure, everybody would. Everything goes to Unmasked. Mm. I'd love to sit in those chairs. Yeah, ouch. I don't know if I could do that either. <laughs> those chairs are really uncomfortable. I know, but they look beautiful. Yeah, I don't like them, though. All right, so there we have it. Uh, and uh, we got a little more audio here, because Owen I didn't get enough of you. They no. did not get enough. They couldn't. You, yeah. you, you can't. Well, Ron, can you get enough of a champion? Hmm, can didn't, you? I, they, didn't, I didn't even think of that. Can you get enough gold? You know what I love Maybe, about it? Yeah. Uh, not only is he great eating his own shit, but he's got the ability to cut promos. You know what I mean? He's sitting here. It's basically like he's Muhammad Ali, mm-hmm. The Rock, Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, any of the great guys over the years who've cut promo. Some of the stuff he's been coming up with, just gems. He called himself Davy Kruger. All right, here's... Uh, <laughs> And I'm speaking to you, Pest, and please stay out of this. Here's your heroes, O and A. Digging a hole they're not going to be able to get out of, because when they dig that hole, my boy, Eastside Dave, will shit in that hole, then dive in and eat that shit. I shit and I shut. (laughs) And by that, I mean down. I shut you fuckers down with my shit. And shit down. Shit and shut. All right, let me just do one thing. Fez, are you on our side? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on our side, as long as we're really winning this. We won when you uh, when you won that homeless uh, Christmas thing. We were all got behind you, Dave especially. So be there for him. Be there in his shit corner with his shit towel, rubbing him down. I think I still smell it. This has been a long time coming because I'm going to say something right now. I think Anthony has shown you respect, but I don't think you've ever got it from Opie. I never have. Yeah. I get I, I get the brush off. Yeah, that's what I get from Opie. Yeah, I get the who the fuck is East Side Dave? Right. Well, you know what? You're looking at him, Good and what what <laughs> who he is? He's the job dropper. He's the what? The, he's Just the, let him go. He's please. the fuck. He's the dream maker. Yeah, that's who he is. He's the champ of champs. Right. And Opie and Cream Pie, fucking welcome to the jungle. W. Axel Rose said it best, and you know what his fucking initials stand for? What war. And that's what it is. Uh, this is Owen I digging a hole for themselves. And this may be, uh, Fezzi, the thing that finally brings them down, that knocks them off that pedestal. There fuck, he goes. Fuck! 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 Yeah, that's... Wow. Dave, if... I, I need complete confirmation, but I wouldn't put it past Dave that he just shit in a bowl, took a finger swipe of it, and and stuck it in his mouth and then vomited all over the place. Yeah, know what I say? No. Yeah. Know what I say? Wow. Bring on Pat from Munaki. Oh wow. Bring on Pat from Munaki. If Pat takes a shit, does Eastside Dave have a have a have a video that's uh, sweeping the nation? I'm panicking here. I know. If Pat takes a shit and he eats it, Fuck. that would put him well Fuck. ahead. I hate well losing. Ahead. Oh, oh, and hey, this is so beneath you. The second your, your cream pie acts like you, you've got nothing, suddenly now you're calling him Pat from Monaki, who finished 30th in the hot dog eating contest? It's confusing. Yeah. And um, at that point, they were talking about maybe switching off cream pie for Pat Duffy. That ain't going to happen. It's me versus cream pie. Oh, these, it's a war. this is pathetic. Yeah. What a sad day for O and A. You put up the parameters, huh? The, the rules. Oh, you put them up there. You live by them, and you know what? You die by them too, Mister Hughes, and Cream Pie. I don't even understand this. I I've never heard these guys panic before. They're like children who think that they can one day grow up and become a center fielder for the Yankees. Here's what they're like: mm-hmm. children. 
who don't know how to deal with a man who shits in a bowl and then eats it. Okay, that's that's their problem. That's definitely more accurate. Yeah, I, yeah. And it's like they think they have these, you know, no pun intended, the pie in their eye type dreams. I don't get the the pun part. <laughs> and uh, they think that they can do that. Yeah. They can't. They think that they can take me on. They think that's an easy thing to do. Right. Look at the fucking bodies on 57th Street who have tried to take me on. You Where? know what? I say this, Fuzzy. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. We got East Side Dave rolling in here. And they know you. And they know you don't play games. That's what gets to me, Dave. They know no bodily fluids or excretions or feces is going to, to hurt me. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to prove it. All right, here is uh, O and A Fezzi, where they really start to realize they don't know what they're doing anymore. Okay? That things aren't the way they used to be. That the rules have been changed. This is what you need to do. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah. You come, you come in here tomorrow with the, with the stunt. Eastside Dave made one up on uh, spare of the moment. The guy, uh, Dave, is, is a champion when it comes to this. And in order to uh, beat a champion, you're going to have to train and uh, come up with your own uh, uh, stunt uh, tomorrow if the, and if do the, it. If the gang is listening uh, over there at the Ron and Fez show, I reserve, we reserve the right to replace Cream Pie Jones with Pat Duffy. There's no reason for that. Well, you come up with a stunt for tomorrow's show. Come up with a it. stunt. And Pat is in tomorrow. Yep. Should we should we have Pat from uh, Pat Duffy uh, standing by with his stunt? Uh, tell, tell, tell Pat, come up with a stunt for tomorrow. Something that beats Eastside Dave where he shit in a bowl and uh, took a finger load out and ate it. Oh, this is pathetic. We reserve the right. What are you talking about, Ope? What is this? You're the one who made this kid, this cream pie, the champion, and then seconds later they want to take him away? What is this, a handicapped match? Or in tennis terms, is this Canadian doubles? Nice. Fuck, no it isn't. It's me fucking cream pie. I swear to God. And if that little fucker, if I ever see him, I don't know what I'll do. All right, here is uh, the challenge being put out there by ONA, who, believe me, and I'm telling you the truth, Fez, you know how we felt over ONA uh, over the years. Sure. Nothing but respect. But in this case, I'm just shocked. I'm shocked at the backpedaling. I'm shocked at the double dealing. I think they were shocked to see, hear a guy eating his own shit. Of course they were shocked. They weren't, they're not used to the real deal. They're not used to somebody who cares about the radio business the way you said Dave does. That knocked him a few steps back. You know why? They've been living high on the hog over there, and their interns and their producers live in the same lifestyle. It's like a, a someone from Las Vegas yeah. who only sees that little rinky-dink Eiffel Tower. Right. And then finally they visit Paris, the real Paris, for the first time, and they see the actual Eiffel Tower up close. They go, whoa! You are the Eiffel Tower of shit eaters. Thank you. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's my claim to fame, and that's where I want to be. And that's you who are. I am. Deep down in your soul, I believe you are. All right, here they are trying to figure out how to get this thing together, Fezzi. How to get the egg off their face. I didn't realize that the O&A show was in competition with Ron and Fez. Well, uh, there is are certain competitions going on. Uh, the Dave and uh, Shithead uh, competition, but... Um, Look, hold on a minute. One competition I know we win is Listener Rumble. Yeah. Our listeners would beat the living shit out of Ron and Fez's listeners. Who, but whose side, like, is uh, Fred from Brooklyn on? That's that's the deciding factor. Well, that's why they'd have to decide. They started with us way back in the NEW days, but I hear him on uh, Ron and Fez a lot. If he's on their team, it could be a little tough. It would be like the Civil It'd War. Tough. Brother against brother. They'd have to decide uh, sides. They'd yeah. have to, like, pick which sides... They, they want to go on, and brother would be fighting against brother in some respects. But I believe uh, our side would emerge victorious. And what about uh, Happy Typing Girl? At this point, I, uh, she's got to say she's a bigger Ron and Fez fan. Uh, yeah, Happy Typing Girl is. Yeah, but, we but, lost her. Um, we lost her. We're losing Big A for the most part. We've lost Dr. Patty. <laughs> yeah, because we treat our listeners like shit, <laughs> wow. and they treat them nicely. And we put shit on our staff. But that head. is also why our... 
audience would kick their audience's ass yeah. is because we have trained like junkyard dogs. Yeah. And they have like nice puppy dogs that you could keep around the children. And I'm not taking this competition lightly. Let me tell you something, Ron and Fez. Mm hmm. We put shit on our, our Jared's head yesterday. All right. I, See, that's that Trump's, something people are forgetting. That Trump's hot sauce in the asshole. That Trump's hot sauce in the asshole. Dude, he picked up a load of shit that Jimmy sprayed out of his ass that looked like Dinty Morse beef stew and picked it up with his hands. That's right. Right out of the toilet. Why are we just casually giving it to Dave? I didn't see Dave put shit on his head. Not shit. I didn't see him pick up a stewy shit. Absolutely. Game on! Game on. Game on. Cream Pie Jones versus Eastside Dave. I, I definitely. Game on! That's right! All right, this must have been earlier when they were still feeling a little froggy, still feeling strong about themselves. Yeah, I don't We've know. We've got to have this yeah. out of uh, sequence, Fence. Yeah, it must be. Because, because Opie still sounds like he's a little proud. He hasn't lost... Uh, all of his confidence. I think they were in such a state of shock. I think this might be in sequence, but they were in such a state of <laughs> they don't know shock what they're doing. that the range of <laughs> they don't emotions. Know what they're doing. <laughs> they were all over the they place. They don't know where they're going. And again, shit in hand. What's or that? Sh or shit in my throat that I <laughs> chewed a little bit. Are you, you're not going to lose this no matter what, right? I will fucking be put in a pie box before I lose I to Green Pie Jones. I, 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 before you lose, you will not lose. If you I have to know. cut your own head off and bowl with it, you will. And I'm going to tell you something else. If you, uh, you want to go up on a high hill and watch our listeners fight each other, I'm all for it. Because there's a couple things you forgot. Mikey boy. Just John. That's right. I mean, we've got some real goers. This is a real fury, guy. is what right. they call Mikey yeah. Boy. We you got would, some guys. You would put them in the scrappers category? Uh, KOP is a hell of a fighter. That's right. Maybe Sumo. Don't forget Bobo. Bobo. Well, he's very burly. He's crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone have to fight? <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. I remember we shut o a down years ago with the Twato and Polo. So yeah. this is just, you know, learn your own history. And Opie, I hate to hear you sound so desperate. It's time to face reality, boys. It's time to know that you're on the Titanic of stunts. And Cream Pie Jones is that little fucking fiddle player. Huh? The guy, the band? Mm. I didn't see it. When they went down. Don't ruin it for me. It went down. Sorry. <sighs> oh, Jesus. You know... I don't mind them beating up our listeners, but when you start to attack Dave, I put an intern above him. An That's intern. crazy talk. An intern who doesn't have who doesn't have the looks, mm -hmm. who do isn't handsome you know like he, me. Here's the thing I want to do too, Fezzi. After the show today, I want you to get this kid a dog collar and a leash, and I want you to start carrying him around with you. It's just like you know, we're gonna. Uh, a uh, moon dog main this whole situation <laughs> to make it look like he's uncontrollable, <laughs> like Jet Li in that movie. If you need to, you wear a beekeeper costume too. <laughs> oh, I'll do that. The safari outfit, yeah, like Kim She. Yeah, Kim She it up. I'd love that. All right, we got another clip here, and this is uh, O and A miscalculating Dave. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Wow, they're saying the duty is old news. It's Dave, not. Dave, Dave. Duty mud mask might win. It doesn't work when we have to feed him lines. You said Dave went off the cough. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was naked on my first day in here. Oh, jeez. Dave, Dave's never done na real nude. What? He, he's he naked all the time. He was nude on our show. On he was nude, and he got his ass, <laughs> like, paddled until it bled. Way to know the show. This, oh. uh, this, this could be a tragic miscalculation in power. Yeah. Too late they're, now. Yeah, they're not used to guerrilla warfare. And you're a gorilla, my friend. A redheaded gorilla. They're like Iraq mm -hmm. in the first one. The easy war. Oh, the Persian Iraq Gulf. occupying Kuwait. Yeah, that's exactly who they're like. Miscalculating the USA. Not this time where we miscalculate. <laughs> no, right. No, no. It. That's why I wanted to yeah. say the first that, time. That's yeah, just take Iraq uh, out of the whole analogy thing. Okay. Because it's not good for either side. All right. But basically, they're underestimating... 
who underestimates a champion? Mm. Didn't uh, Tom Janovich of the Houston Rockets teach us all a lesson? He did. When he said, never underestimate the heart of a champion. Right. And here's the thing that they don't realize about you. You're not just one of these champions living the high life. You know no. what I mean? Now, you are a man. You have soared with the, with the eagles. Sure I have. But then you'll slither with the snakes. Of course I do. You've dined with kings and queens, but then you've feasted on pork and beans. Yes, I've done those things, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I only have like a silver dollar in my pocket. One more silver dollar. Uh, one more, yeah. yeah. I only have one more. They ain't going to catch you now. They're not catching me. You know what? Let's not even give it away anymore. Okay. We got more stuff in here, Fez? We got more uh, tape of these guys? Yeah, we. Uh, I think we have a little... A little All right, what do we more. got, Earl? Um, they actually congratulate Eastside Dave. They're applauding him in this clip. Wow. Oh. Jeez, we went through this whole war back and forth without even... Uh, we didn't know it was over. It doesn't matter. I was coming into work at the time. I missed it. Um, all right, let's take a listen to this. They're saying Dave works without a net. Oh, boy. We're That's in true. Trouble. We're in deep trouble. You did push-ups. He ate shit. Might have bit Do off more than you could chew. you understand there's a problem here, Jared? Bitten off a little more than you could chew there, cream pie. Sounded good on paper, but I, I don't know. I'm not feeling, uh, feeling uh, confident about this one. Look at the type of girl uh, uh, Dave got doing what he does. Look at that. Do you think if Dave was just Dave off the street, he'd get the likes of Casey? No. No. Oh. He, it's it's the, the kind of guy he is. He can do uh, things like that. You, on the other hand, um... that was it. <laughs> All right, so now, you know, maybe we got carried away during the attacks because it seemed like they came back around. I don't think so. No. It's just a, it's just a bunch of bullies groveling. Yeah. Do you not stop? And if you have a bully in that position, you don't kick his ass? Yeah. No. You keep kicking away. Because you let the bullies off the hook, and they'll fucking turn around and take your milk money tomorrow. That happened to you a couple of times? I, a lot. Was one of those bullies your own mom? Perhaps. Is that why you have such weak bones now? A couple of people uh, have been calling in to support Eastside Dave, I'm glad to say. Uh, Fezzi. John Minnelli says he's behind you a million percent. Oh, wow. Good. Uh, Dice Clay uh, says, go Dave, go. Good. One of my heroes. And uh, Man Cow said, uh, all right, Dave. So... Things are starting to come back your way, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's good that when you have such, you know, high-class celebrities as those three, mm -hmm. you know, we can tell our own. You know, high-class people sniff out other high-class people. Uh, who is that out there? You know what? Yeah. I do believe that is ONA's intern. That's Cream Pie Jones. Cream Wait, Pie Joe hanging... Cream Pie Jones is hanging around outside, or is he... Yep, he's right outside the door. Are you fucking right, kidding me? Yeah, there he is right Are there. Are you fucking kidding me? There, there he is. Come on. Are there he is. The block is. that him? In my fucking That's house. Him. In your house. In my fucking house. You're yeah. going to be in here in my fucking house. That's Do fucking you right. understand? Do you fucking I understand? I fucking deal with it, kid. So I will fucking kill your house. You have no fucking idea. You're going to have to die. You are going to get fucking shot on. I have been fucking. I should fucking shit in your ass. This is not a fucking joke, fucker. You're going to die. Dave, Dave, take his shirt. Take his fucking shirt off him. Take his shirt off him. Take his shirt off him. Take his. There it is. There it is. There it is. Take your own shirt off. All right, Pose got Dave. All right. Don't ever come into my house again. Dave shirtless. Don't ever come into my house again. All right, this isn't our studio. Don't ever come into fucking Frank's place again. That's right. <laughs> stay out of Frank's place. Way to stand up for Frank. Talk about... No, he never gets naked. Yeah. He never does anything for the show. Yeah, there he goes your clothes. Right All right. Oh, fuck. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> go back in the Take off your shirt. I'll fucking get you. Take off your shirt. Come on. Dave's pants are down. Don't go behind me. Dave. There go the clothes. You want a piece of this cream pie? You take it. You All right, thing. Dave's got his ass out. You try and touch this, and I'll fucking bite off. Go ahead. I'll give you three seconds. Try and fucking bite my ass. So you got three seconds. Go. 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 All right, there it is. There it is. Poe's got to grab him. Goddamn neck if you try and lick my ass. You fucking son of a bitch. I will. Sit down, Dave. Sit it down. You're, you're a little blown up. Pull your shirts back up, please. 
You've been through a lot today. Man, you, bite my ass. you know what really pisses me off? Look how Poe grabs you and not cream pie. This is your time to be in here. Why is that kid even in this uh, in this area? What is he doing hanging around Frank's place? Well, you always... Frank's place is Dave's place it's for now on. It's Dave's place. You know why? Because you always go after the threat. What a be. tiny little thing he is. What a tiny little thing cream pie Reminds is. me of a little pad of butter. And he is a, he's a fucking intern, and he's talking to you that way? He doesn't fucking know what's going on. You know, I was I was scared from my job for a second because I thought real violence was going to come out. If we got to sell this in stunt form, that's fine. But don't come into my place slash Frank's place ever again. I'll get you, cream pie. So I will fucking get you if it's the last thing I do. It might even be the way you're breathing. I gotta stop smoking. Yeah, you do. You're in terrible shape, huh? Just the smoking. I mean, all you were doing... All right, he's fucking at the door. Oh, he just gave you the finger. Don't fucking take it, Dave. Fuck, Paul. Go after. Go after. That's it. Take him down. Try again. Come on. He's trying to undress him. All right, Paul had to put uh, Dave on the ground. But why always Dave, Paul? Why never cream pie? Because he's the crazy one. Oh, he's the crazy one. Yeah, he's yelling louder and he's, he's making Whose more... time is this, Paul? Uh, Whose time is this? It's Dave's. This is Dave's time. What is this kid doing in here? I have no idea. What is he doing in here? I don't know. You think maybe he should go? Does this say Frank's place up here? Yes, it does. Is Frank's, Frank's place, place not the home of the Ron and Fez show? Dave, you okay on the floor? <laughs> I just came to, yeah. Come on up. Oh, fine. All right, let me help you out. Come on up. You're getting Dave back on his feet. You know what? You better unclench those f fists, big man. Where's you better unclench those fists. All right? You don't walk into Frank's place. Seriously, right now. Start going like this with your fingers. You don't walk into Frank's place acting like you're a badass. All right? This is Frank's place. What's that sign say? Frank's place? Make him read it, Dave. Keep laughing. Look at the sign. I look at his shirt, Tell though. Tell me what it is. Look at his shirt. Frisbee fling. You think that fucking type of pornography goes on in Frank's place? I'm fucking not kidding, dude. Look into the better fucking eyeballs. Those hands. I'll clench those fucking hands right now. Look into the eyeballs of your demon, buddy. Look into them. Look into my fucking eyeballs. All right, this is gay. <sighs> you want it? You got it. I am not shitting in, in my hat anymore. Hold on. You know what? Where's the picture? Where Where's the stunt that you're ready to do? Where's this picture? There's the picture. Take it front and center. I got a picture here, Cream Pie Jones. From his mice. I'd like to show you what I do <laughs> with that picture. If I could use your assistance, mister. Thank you, sir. Wait, hold on. We have a floor here that, you know, we need. You... Where is the shit pan? <laughs> All right, he's getting his shit pan right now. I didn't know we had an official yeah. shit pan. Wait, is that, what is it? This is a picture of Cream Pie Jones. Unclench those on fists, Cream Pie. Unclench those fists. Here you go. And you know what? Take your time. Uh, grab something here, because I want ONA to have to see this. I want ONA to have to see the way that, that you're, you're handling this right Take now. It. And it's taking place right in front of Cream Pie. All right, hold on. Uh... Paul is grabbing a piss bag right now so that nothing can go wrong. The guy's got 15 black belts, but he needs a piss bag before he knows that he's doing his job. <laughs> you see what I got? I'm going to turn around the other way. Yeah. Because I don't need everybody seeing... Your little dick. Well, no. <laughs> what I was going to say is the, the, the Irish jewel in the Nile. <laughs> That's a small stone. Here you go. Nice to have some modesty. Yeah. Well, it's not a... Uh, uh, a shower, it's a grower, as I've said many times before. Here you go, cream pie. I'm going to put it right oh, on your eyes. Oh, God, he just pissed on there cream he pie's is. picture. He oh. just pissed. Cream pie, come on over here. Is that something that... Oh, Get that fucking picture away from me, because you know what I do with the cream pie picture? Oh, oh. oh what happened? My fucking mouth! Well, he, In my Dave, fucking mouth! Dave just ate the pissed on oh. cream pie Jones picture. He's drinking... And he's drinking the leftover piss out of his oh, piss yeah. pan. He drank the leftover piss out of the piss pan after eating. Poe, how you feeling? A Tough guy. We found out what Poe is afraid of. Oh, wait, hold on. Dave. Get the fuck out of 
fuck away from my piss. This is my shit, baby. All right. It's your own gimmick. Dave. <laughs> Go ahead, do whatever the fuck you want. Dave had Eastside Dave. By the way, Cream Pie is going back in after the piss picture of Dave's. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is. Is looking for it. Go ahead. Oh. Hey, why don't you wipe it up? Wait, keep it mm. you creep. Yeah, I know. He doesn't know how to move it along, Dave. No. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Dave's shitting in the corner. Dave is shitting in the corner. <laughs> Dave is shitting in the corner. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with all this. It's not that air. It's not that air. You're fucking shitting. Where'd that picture go? What are they doing? Get him a fresh yeah. picture, would you please? Another picture of uh, Cream Pie Jones, please. In case you're just tuning in, Eastside Dave had a picture printed out of Cream Pie Jones' nemesis from the ONA show. He pissed on it, shoved it in his mouth, and drank the leftover piss from his piss pan. He wanted a challenge, didn't he? He wanted a goddamn war, right? Well, am I right? Oh, this, why the war? I know we did, Dave, but I don't like the shit eating. <laughs> well, it's too late for that. It I'm really out. is. I'd love a glass of water. I'd like, I can't watch. I can't be part of it this. It seems like the only fair thing to get him is a glass of water. I don't think this is healthy. You ready, cream pie? Is he having, I think he's having trouble keeping his piss in. You ready to look at your dream maker? Uh, you, you, are you ready to look at your dream maker? Say you're ready. <laughs> Dave just chewed up a big piece of shit. Oh man, a nice size nugget. I threw it. I was puking. Hey, I, and he's I threw it up a little bit. I think I, I think I need seconds. Now he's licking. I was puking away. <laughs> Dave chewed up his own shit nugget and then he is licking the leftover shit off of his fingers while Poe pukes his guts out. <laughs> Earl, get a hold of O and A right now and just let him know that this war Oh jeez, you alright Dave? <laughs> you look like a dead man. Oh, yeah, let him know that this war is officially over. You're drooling a little shit there. And I'll tell you mouth. why. I see 15 ONA producers and interns all backed up against the wall as Eastside Dave takes 90% of the... And Poe is still puking. Who wants a high five? <laughs> he still has shit no. on his hand. Uh, <laughs> all right, this... It actually um, kind of was fun for a while, and then people li literally started getting sick and now ready to die. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go wash my hands for a little bit. This has got to stop. Maybe brush my teeth. You know, in a, in, a, in a war like this, there are no winners. Really? There are no winners. There's bodies everywhere, I believe, now. Oh, God. I, I gotta tell you the truth. Uh, Paul, how you doing, buddy? Uh, grab Paul, Mike. Here. Paul, I know that you're a man, uh, you're a man's man. That took you down in a way that I don't think uh, feet, and hand, uh, feet and hands ever could. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, anybody, you know, want you to take tired? me out? Just, just eat shit, that's all. Ugh. That was disgusting. I, I, that was a nightmare. And he stuck it in his mouth. He... And I'll tell you something right now. That, that Cream Pie Jones has nothing for him either. Oh, I mean, yeah. his attempts where I'm going to go redo something that Dave did. It was just pathetic. Stay on your side. Was, David, how you doing, buddy? I'm okay, Mr. B. I think I need to freshen my breath to clean out my mouth a little bit. What do you got there? I have some palm olive and a shot glass. And I'm just going to say bottoms up. Yeah, because you got a little something caught in your teeth there. Yeah, I know. It, it, it ain't spinach. So bottoms up with the palm olive, everybody. Oh. All right, shot glass of palm olive dishwashing yeah. liquid. What are you doing? Get outside. Ooh. This is Frank's place. Ah. <laughs> Well, his breath smells better anyway. Oh, this is pathetic. That's way out of my league. Yeah. What is he doing drinking Palmolive? That can't be good for you. No. no. Not at all. I mean, the shit's bad enough. Oh, I'm choking, man. I'm choking. 
Should you drink palm olive? Yeah. Shouldn't drink palm olive. You, you have some water? Yeah, he's got water. He's good. This is disgusting. Hmm. There are some warnings on here, Dave. I think that's about dishpan hands. I tell you what. It doesn't look as minty as it is. All right. Oh, that's bottom. enough. Um, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, when he was chewing on stuff is when it got to me. That's, uh, uh, so, radio war today. I believe it's over and over that quickly. That was the worst thing, man. Page six is, uh, oh, man. I think we all need a break here, Fuzzy. Yeah. I think we all need a break. Just a breather. We're on a fish show. <laughs> I can tell you, I was not too happy with uh, Cream Pie Jones coming in here today and uh, pushing Dave to crazy limits. Uh, here comes Earl Douglas into the room, uh, former producer, executive producer of the Run a Fest show. How are you, Earl? I'm good. Yeah, last yesterday you stopped down as the, uh, stepped down as executive producer. Uh, yes, I did. What's next for you? Um, I don't know. I really don't. Just uh, going from gig to gig. Uh, I really don't have any. No plans. No plans as of yet. No. Hmm. No real definitive plans. No. Maybe go back to school. Teach. No, I mean, school's an option. Mm-hmm. That, that's something I've, I mean, I, it's all wide open for me right now. Mm. Is there some reason you're in our studio? Uh, yes, uh, you know, the uh, Don Wiki, who's this? Don who, Wiki? Don Wiki Wicky, Wicklin. Earl, why don't you take your breath for a second? Yes. And come on in here. Then you're a person. <clears throat> just even tell me you're a person. I am a person. No, I just, uh, Wiki called and wanted to basically say, Let's let's put a hold on this, mainly because it was just so gross, among other things. What are you talking about? Uh, the challenge that they put out. The challenge was not a challenge that Dave put out. It was one that was put out to him. And then that guy did an attack on Frank's place. And Dave did what he had to do, I guess. Yeah, Cream Pie came here looking for trouble. It's not like Dave planned these things. Yes. But uh, he just wanted to... Why wasn't uh, Poe keeping Cream Pie away from the studio? Why would he let him come in here? And then once that happened, why would Poe grab Dave instead of Cream Pie? Uh, I, I really. Do you realize that Dave never asked for this challenge? No, he did not. It was it was put out there. Yeah. Did you say all these things to Wiki? Yes. You did not, did you? You didn't say one. Why? Well, I, I explained the situation. I explained the situation. You, you didn't explain that Eastside Dave was called out, and then that this cream pie Jones showed up here at Frank's place looking for trouble. Looking half hopped up to me, tell you the truth. True. That kid, is, he's not right in the head. There's something wrong with him. Crazy Something eyes. very, very wrong with him. I mean, he was aware of the really what was going on the last uh, hour or so, not only on this show, but the show before it. He was, was fully aware of that. I don't think he was. I don't think... I think that you came running in here... To shut things down because uh, Dave was winning I'm and not, winning handily. No, I mean Dave is Dave's a lunatic. I know. I mean, why why can't you be behind Dave? I am behind Dave. He may be your boss <laughs> if he gets the executive producer uh, role till you know the new semester starts. <laughs> I call Wiki back for us because I think that he's got the wrong uh, angle of this. He called here mad. Uh, he was really upset. So he called you mad. Yeah. I right, call him uh, from the other room. We'll put him on and try to explain everything the way it went down. Uh, Paul was yelling, get an AMT, get an AMT, but Dave refuses and said uh, he just needs to drink water. And his big problem was uh, drinking the palm olive. Yeah, he got soap in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, who didn't get that as a kid? And Paul was yelling, external use only. External use only. He yells that about everything. Yeah. Is he on the air with us? No, not yet. I'm going to do that now. We're dialing mm. him up right now, right? Thank you. All right, uh, Dave, uh, back in the other room. Go ahead and grab that mic in there, Dave. How you feeling? I feel good. Poe wants to rush you to the hospital for drinking palm olive. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, one of the more poor choices that I've made. 
But I just felt like I needed my uh, mouth to be clean, so at least it accomplished that, I guess. It's very weird because when um, the uh, when Paulo uh, Betuato, he uh, drank uh, Clorox that time on the l a show. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, you know, it, that actually hurt my throat quite a bit, but uh, I feel good now. I'm munching on Tic Tacs and Orbit gum as much as possible. So I feel good. Read that Orbit gum, not for internal use. No. But, you know, it's good also to, to be a champion. It's good to shut people down. I feel like I accomplished... Did that kid end up leaving? I don't know where he went, Mr. B. Uh, I think they all grabbed him, and they, um, a few of the ONA people said he's very, very afraid and was trembling, and they wanted to get him he out of the He should be room. afraid. When I saw him with his fist clenched, I was ready to smack him myself. I got news for you. I like to see people in here acting like they're ready to throw hands. Yeah, and I mean, you know, ultimately... Uh, I knew I couldn't go there, even though I wanted to. I wanted to take him down any way possible. So I just decided, well, I'm not going to lash out at him and lose my job, so I'll just do the shit. And I did the shit, and I did it well. How's your chick feel about this? she cool with it? Uh, I don't know, Mr. B. I probably won't find out till I get home. You know. See uh, if there's a big kiss waiting for you. Yeah, you know, I plan to buy some Listerine. And look, I'm going to take care of my uh, mouth... And any other kind of oral things, I'm going to take care of that uh, very, very well before I arrive in the house. Maybe I'll go out and, you know, have some more mints. I'll probably have a big meal. How's David doing over there? I think he's doing okay. Is he next to you? No. I think he went back to the bathroom. Well, then have someone check on him, would you, Pitsy? Sure. Thanks. I don't understand these guys. Or I know you're no longer executive producer. Who's acting executive producer? Um, I have to say right now, probably Pitsy. Hmm. That's great news. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't know about it, huh? No. An option. I'm not Put saying. Dave on mic, would you please? Hey, Mr. B. How you doing? I got delayed shit here. Apparently, these two fucking assholes told me to drink lots of water... I just called the Center for Poison Control, and they said the worst thing to do, I would have been fine had I not drank water, but the water is going to cause it to fucking literally have dish bubbles in All my right. stomach. So should you go over the emergency ward? No, I asked them. I said, so what should I do? They said, well, it, there, the hospital can't do anything for you. You're just going to have, you know, you're going to fucking feel very, very sick for another few hours. And, and, and Why would you drink dish water? Why would you drink palm oil, David? I wanted to get the... I didn't think it was going to be that bad for you. If you put it on your dishes and then you eat all Who told dishes. you to drink a lot of water? Uh, pepper or, I don't know, pits. I don't fucking... I'm like... It was me, because I called up the Poison Control Center, and the guy told me that if you... I told him he vomited his uh, palm oil out. He said, drink a little bit of milk and a lot of water. And then Dave was feeling bad, so I said, Dave, you should call back the Poison Control Center. He did, and they told me the exact opposite thing. Well, someone's going down for that. I, I'll, I'll be fine. I just got to throw up, that's all. I'll be fine. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the radio war. Hey, this is things we got to do. As, as champions, as part of the Ron Fez radio program, we have to represent him. And you know what? No one ever said warfare. You don't get nicks. You don't get scars. And you sure as shit don't get wounds because you do. And this is just one of them, but you know what? It's all worth it when I win the war. I've won the first fucking battle. Now, now if you'll excuse me, I have to puke. I guess we're in uh, Dutch right now, Fezzi, with the XM people, because they got a little shock jockey around here uh, today. Unbeknownst to you and I, Fezzi, some of this stuff happened uh, right behind our backs. Earl, why don't you take full responsibility for it since uh, you're already stepping down as executive producer? Yeah, I could do that. Like you authorized everything. Yeah. Like, hey, this is my way. And get yourself fired as a shock producer. That could work. You're the new Rick Delgado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to say Rick's name? No, you're fine. Is Dave in there with you? No, he's actually lying down on the floor. Is he okay? Uh, I don't know. Dave? I... I'm yeah. going to please ask you to keep an eye on him, or else I'm going to send him over to the hospital right now. No, we are. He's just lying down trying to get his uh, wind back in him. Should he be over at the hospital? Dave, do you need to go? I don't think I do. Uh, 
would you please go in and check on him? Because I don't have Pitsy in charge over there. I'm trying to do a show and I'm hearing stuff like that. I don't think Pitsy's ready for executive producer. Asking questions like that on the air, Fez. Yeah, I agree. The Earl News st stunned him. Everything Man. okay in there, Pitsy? He's talking with Earl now. I can't get an answer from either of them. Um, I think that he doesn't really look that good right now. Right, why, don't you, uh, why don't you send him over to the doctor then, okay? It's the Ron Fez Show. Uh, we sent Earl over with Dave to the hospital. Apparently, the little stunts that Dave was doing today was okay until he put palm olive in his mouth and swallowed. So he's been feeling sick from that. Because I got, you know, Poe yelling, call an EMT, call an EMT early in the day, Dave wouldn't do it. And then he's still being around sick. I finally sent him over. Right. Because I can't have every day on the show Bobo yelling, call the EMTs, you know, Dave whizzing on stuff and drinking it and then later and then eating palm olive and then saying I feel sick. Again, who's in charge? The radio sheriff. I have to be the one who takes, you know, people are saying to me, Dave's pretty sick. Then go to the doctor. Go work it out. Stop acting like you can put the show in jeopardy every time you turn around. And don't act like I can't get an answer out of him. You just have to go. Earlier on the air. Hey, guys. I'm up at the emergency room now with Dave, and uh, he's feeling all right. We just, we're just taking no precautions, though. We just want to have him checked Why aren't you taking any precautions? Because um, he just said, because I would ask him, he's like, are oh, you okay? And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm okay. And then he just kind of looked really purple. So, but why would you say you're taking no precautions, and then you're saying we're staying at, at the emergency room? Yeah, we we got here about 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago, and he's just waiting to, just to get looked over. But um, yeah, we just want to have him checked out. Thanks, Lateral. All right. Stay with him. We'll talk to you later. Uh, here's Sal. Sal, you're on Fez. Good thing Dave didn't drink soda. He might have exploded. Uh, Pinsy, who's working the phones over there today? Pepper. Pepper, why are we letting this guy in time and time again? Sorry, Ron, a lot of calls coming in. Right. And what do we do with him? Here is uh, Jay. Jay, you're on Fez. Jay, we got you, buddy? Yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Um, I want to talk about uh, flight attendants and their stupid uniforms. What about them? Um, cream pie Jones for life, motherfucker. Oh, God damn yeah. it. The pests are on us. I knew this was going to happen. The pests are on us. It's an assault. You know what? At one point, they act like we want to talk about your show. And just dump out of it. The audience doesn't have to hear what he said. Because I heard the MF. And that just goes to show you how awful these pests are. What they do. They can't allow us to do our own show. Why don't and they... I'm going to put this on ONA right now. And Opie and Anthony, I want you both to take full responsibility. There's, there's a red-headed young man down at the emergency ward right now. Because you goaded him into it. You along with Don Wicky Wicklin, who had every right to put a stop to that early today. As I begged. Ron Bennington, Fez Watley, The Ron and Fez Show, XM202.